discovery of our ancestors, the Peking Man site at Joko Dian. This is Longku Mountain in the village of Joko Dian, southwest of Beijing. Longku means animal fossils. The site's long been important because fossils are used in Chinese medicine. Tests on some of them in 1926, however, revealed they weren't of animals, but of human teeth, estimated to be between 400 and 500,000 years old. The ancestor who had them became known as Peking Man. The discovery of traces of an unknown human ancestor shook the world of anthropology and led to large-scale excavations. An almost perfect skull of Peking Man was discovered on the 2nd of December 1929. The forehead was much lower and the eyebrows jutted out more than modern man's. Its less rounded head is believed to have contained a brain about two-thirds the size of the human brain today. This is a reconstructed bust model of a Peking man. The discovery of Peking man's remains has been indispensable in learning about evolution. This photo was taken the day after the discovery. The skull was wrapped in layers of newspaper and kept in plaster. Pei Wenjiang made the find. He is often referred to as the father of Chinese archaeology. Subsequent excavations led to caves where Peking men lived. Various kinds of stone tools were found. Peking man used different sizes and degrees of hardness according to the task in hand. Some remains indicated the use of fire. This is fossilized ash. Peking man used fire to cook their prey. The discovery meant the oldest historical evidence of human use of fire had to be rewritten a few hundred thousand years earlier than previously thought. Other skull fragments were later found, making a total of five skulls, but they were lost during the Second World War. Excavations resumed afterwards. Significant Peking man skull fragments were found in 1966. A perfectly reconstructed model of a Peking man skull was shown to the public for the first time in China in 2003.